All right, welcome back, folks. My name is Quentin Crisco. You can find me on Twitter and YouTube at Buckus Stats. And I am here to break down the Buffalo Bills offense in preparation for their Week 16 matchup with the Chicago Bears. You can find all my content at Shaving Points Podcast, shaving-points.com, as well as all my written content and Chicago Bears-specific podcasting at ONTAP Sportsnet. That's ONTAPSportsnet.com. Let's jump into it. And I love watching Josh Allen play football. I could do this for the rest of my life. He is football. Got an absolute rocket launcher of a right arm. He can sling it. He's about to get rocked here on this play and just drop a dime 50 yards downfield for a touchdown. 98-yard touchdown. Like, that is just... In the rain, snow, played in a hurricane in Foxborough last year. Not a real hurricane, but as close as you can get while still playing football outdoors. Still dropping dimes. No matter, it'll cut through any wind. And on top of all that, it's fast and hard to bring down. Now this is Stephon Diggs, his number one receiver, his favorite target. Diggs is an excellent route runner. Now, watch closely here how he's going to sell the in route with his feet, with his head, with his eyes. Get this get this uh, linebacker or safety to, to bite inside on it to break up the pass. And then on a dime, flip around, cut outside. That's how you create separation. And he is very good at it. Plenty of yards after catch from that separation. Now this one I just had to include because it might be the most fun play of the season. And it happened in week one. Like, just watch it. Watch it here. Look at him release this ball. He gets 50, he just chucked that thing 55 yards to where it needed to be. Like, I mean, ultimately, this was just a coverage breakdown by Jalen Ramsey. Like. See, look, he, he thinks he has safety help or something. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I remember there being a description afterwards, but he just, it's not like he got stacked. It, he just, he stopped running hard at one point. Thought he had help and he didn't. But that throw is just incredible. And his second favorite target is tight end Dawson Knox. Knox is a load to bring to the ground. He runs hard. He's won, he's won a few angry run awards on NFL Network. But one of the things I really appreciate about Dawson Knox is his ability to find the soft spots of zone coverage and knowledge of settling his route in those soft spots. Like, we're looking at a, a quarter's concept here. And really, I mean, it's not the most obvious thing on earth because from this view, there's a defender standing right where Knox is taking his route. But he doesn't let that slow him down. He know, he knows that this defender's going up to this zone here. That guy's here. That guy's here. And that these linebackers are not really going up above it. And he, he just has a great feel for space and knows how to find it. And hard to bring down. Now, it's not all roses this year for the, the Bills offense. Their O-line has had some issues. Their center here, number 60, Morse, he's a really good center. I, I wouldn't be too worried about him. This this was a rough rep for him, but, I mean, it was going against Quinn and Williams. Spen- Spencer Brown at right tackle, on the other hand, second-year player. Very raw. I mean, athletic, big, tough demeanor. All that stuff that you want at right tackle, but he needs to get better with his hands, and he's he's he's, he's gotten beat some this year, like right there. See how the defender just took his hands and drove him because I mean he's the defender's got both his hands right here and is just dictating the rep, and that's not what you want to see. Then at left tackle, Deion Dawkins has been pretty reliable for them the last few years, but I know he had, he had a rough first couple years. Not rough. Rough might be too, too hard of a word, but up and down. Um, on this one, we're going to see him pulling up 
this linebacker here, and he just he overruns him, overruns him, gets off balance, misses the block, and blows up the run. All right, now let's get into some of the schematic breakdown. First things first, this team loves to go deep. You know, their quarterback has the arm for it. They have the receivers for it. They're going to take their shots. This play, they anticipate. This is this is like what one or two plays after they just took that deep shot that almost hit. And they anticipate that Jets are probably going to be running cover three here, be a little more conservative. Um, and they, they run a really nice cover three beater. He's going to come up here, threaten deep, and then cut back. After a deep shot, they're probably going to try to play play it off on you that you're you're being a little safer with your call because you, know, you just almost got beat deep. I think it's Diggs go in motion and just get followed straight up. So they say, okay, that's man coverage. We know Diggs wins man coverage. We're going to go straight out. Throw was off, but the idea was right. And when they see man coverage with Diggs and it's not, you know, sauce or for the Bears case, maybe Jalen Johnson, but may, they, they'll they probably make him earn that though. Like they'll probably challenge him before they say, Man coverage against Jalen is not automatic to Diggs. So I actually didn't catch it on this this cut up, but number 13 here, he had just motioned over from out wide and this corner followed him right in there. Now, if we draw a line right here from his outside foot, or this corner is giving him, in, it is playing outside leverage. So anything inside, and by inside, I mean towards the center, He's going to have an easier time creating separation on. And they see that off the motion and just say, okay, we're going to we're, we're gonna run this play straight to him. So they're, they're going to try to beat you with some man beaters whenever they can identify man. Now I'm going to go through a few of their run concepts and just a few different ways that they, they run similar looking plays for very different outcomes. So this first one he hands off to the running back. Blocking scheme has a little pull action going on it. This next one, they have a, a jet sweep guy coming back through. It's almost the same blocking motion as the previous one, but the, and they sell it and had the tight end Knox turn around halfway through his, his motion there. So watch the tight end right here. Watch how he comes inside selling the same motion as the last one, and then cuts back, turns around, flips his hips, and gets out to be the lead blocker for the runner. Here I want you to watch 20, just coming through on the jet sweep. And this time they run it to number six. Almost the exact same concept, other side, different player. So they have a few different guys they're willing to do this with. And then we're gonna zero in on the I formation stuff that they do under center. They do under center and it's, from what I can tell, yeah, I, I saw like I think I saw this four times from the two games I watched. If they're under center in the I formation, it's a run up the middle. Like I, the, the concepts might change from inside zone to gap or whatever, but it's it's most likely an interior run. This one here is one of my favorites. So Josh Allen sees a six-man box, says I've got five blockers in front of me. Let's see what happens if I motion this guy. Oh. Now I've only got a five-man box because number 56 just went out to cover the running back and he sells the head fake. Josh Allen gets gets his head turned towards the running back like he's throwing a screen to really sell that number 56 linebacker and then calls his own number. And Mitch Morse goes leads block for him. He runs. And that's all I've got for you on the Buffalo Bills offense. Make sure to like, subscribe, let me know what you want to see. Go check me out at shaving points podcast on youtube on spotify on apple whatever it might be and go check out on tap sports night for my game preview adios bear down